Being told something bad about my hubby, true? Should I stay either way? You have all, you, you've already received this communication. You've already received this communication. Your instrument is sufficient to receive the communication and to understand it. So this means you've already felt the answer to that. You don't need me to tell you what the answer is. You already know what that is. And you either feel lightness, you feel good about it, you feel an activation or a quickening, or you feel a sense of dread, a panic, a, oh, fuck. Okay? It's one or the other with you, and I think I know which one it is. And you've already received that communication. You don't need me to tell you that. You have some decisions to make about your life. Before the snake can take a new form, he's got to slough off the skin of the old snake. He's got to, he, to be transformed, you have to renew your mind. You have to change who it is that you are. You've got to make, sometimes in life, we have to make radical decisions for our self-care and for our benefit because we all have high versions of ourselves. In fact, for all of us, not just you, Summer, we have a highest version. Like if we hit that blueprint out of the park, if we were following that map to X marks the spot and we were doing everything right the first time, we have a highest version of who it is that we are, that we could be. Then we have a medium version. If we detour here and maybe take a couple years doing that, but we get back to the path and we hit that medium version, you know? And some of us, we stay at a lower version. We just hit that detour and then we go walking off in the woods and now we're lost and so we spend a whole 40 years doing that. And we never really reach the highest potential of who it is that we are. We all have a really high potential, however. This means you. You have a very high potential. And it's decisions like this that affect your course. Are you going to veer off for 40 years, lost, lose precious time, or you could be moving in the direction of your highest version, or maybe you think about it, detour a little bit, and see what happens, see what you think. Maybe you'll do that, and you'll come back around, and you know, you'll get back on the path, and maybe you'll hit the highest version, or maybe you know, you'll, you'll iterate at some different level. Who knows? Or you can keep plugging along, because inside of you, is the witness. There's always the I am. There's the inner voice that says, bad for you, good for you. And it never lies. It never, never, never lies. Your body, which is the best friend that you will ever have in your whole life, it is with you from the time of your birth to the time of your last breath, carrying you, walking you around the planet, loving you, pumping the blood, breathing in the air, processing life for you. Your body never lies to you. Never lies to you. It is your constant companion and friend. And if you give your body a voice and some space, it will answer this question for you. You've already received that transmission from your own body, but let's give it some space to really talk to you. And that, let that dictate what path you take. Nothing's bad about any of those paths. They're all, they're all fine. Some of us come into multiple lives, by the way, trying to get to that highest version in one iteration. And we, it takes us a few times to get to that highest version because we got other things going on. And, and that could be what happens in this life. That's fine. There's no judgment. It's okay. But you are at the driver's seat. You are the I am of your own life. You make the choices. You choose who you surround yourself with. You choose the energy that you put in your own space. We got a person here who may be betraying you or doing things to you that are damaging to you outright. The moment you know it, you're responsible to do something about it. And be honest with yourself. Well, my choice is I'm going to do nothing. And I think sometimes that's the right thing to do. When you don't know what to do, don't do anything at all. Think about it. Maybe you need to be doing that. But the moment you hear the transmission, your body tells you what's going on, you know the truth, you have a responsibility to act on that and take care of yourself because you brought a blueprint with you into this life. You have a higher version waiting for you. And you can fast track when you make the right decision for yourself. You've got some choices to make and I wish you nothing but love and blessings. I've been married one million times to all kinds of people, <laughs> okay? So I made a lot of mistakes. I spent a lot of time in the wilderness of my own life, so no judgment from me. You take all the time you need to figure it out for yourself. We're here for you if you need some help, okay? 
Hey everybody, I just wanted to end by inviting you to my free online spiritual community called The Lightworkers Lab. If you're interested in finding your spiritual tribe, go to thelightworkerslab.com. Check us out, learn what we're about, and learn how you can join. Or just go to Facebook and search The Lightworkers Lab and ask to join. I also wanted to mention that every couple of months I offer an in-depth or a comprehensive spiritual or metaphysical class. And if you're interested in taking your spirituality and your connection to a whole new level, go Go to crystallandcompton.com slash spiritual hyphen classes. Check out what's coming up and join if you are so inclined. And to everybody, I just want to say that I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. God bless.